Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at how to take a full backup and restore the backup. Let's start. The first thing we need to do is to connect our instance. So connect it here. Once my instance is connected, I'll expand databases and then take a full backup of one of the user databases. So for the purpose of this exercise, let's take a full backup of Wide World Importers database. So I'll click, I'll right click on it, go to Tax, and then select Backup. Once I have my page open, I have my database selected here, which is Wide World Importers. If you want to change it, you can click on this drop down, and then select whichever user database you want to backup here. So let's leave it on wide world importers. Now our recovery model is set to full, which we cannot edit. And then we have our backup type. So backup type here, you can decide to change to differential transactional log. So let's leave it as full. We have our backup, copy only backup. You can check this box if you want. And then we have backup components. So we have, what are we backing up? That's our database. You can select, you can back up your files and file group also. If you click on it, you have the option to select which one you want. We are not doing that today, so let's leave it on database. Now we have our destination. Where are we backing up to? That's, we are backing up to Dix. So for the purpose of this exercise, it's going to be on our local Dix. If you want to back up on the cloud, you can select the URL and then you specify where you want it to be. Now, since we selected Dix, let's try to add our file path. So I'll remove this one and then click on add. I'll click on these three horizontal dots and then select my folder. So here I created a folder on my drive C, which is called backup. So I'll select it and then I can name my file. So I'll say world sorry, which is wide world importers. So I'll say dot BAK. So the extension for full backup is dot BAK. So I'll click on OK. Click on OK. So my file part is selected. Now you can go to media options and then you can decide to check Add additional settings to it and then we have our reliability you can verify backup when finished you can check this continue on error you can check it perform checksum before writing to media you can select which options you want you can go to backup options also here the name of your backup is here backup sets will expire you can here gives you the option to put the number of days your, your backup should be so you have you can put in the number of days and then if you want it to be on a certain date, you can select on and then choose the date here. Compression. So here, use the default server settings or you want to compress the backup or do not compress backup. You can leave it as it is. So we'll leave it as it is and then we'll take our full backup. Click on OK. And then it's executing. So let's wait. So here we have our backup successfully completed so click on ok let's check whether we have our backup i'll go to my drive c click on file explorer go to my drive c select backup and then i have my backup taken now let's see how we can restore this database so to do that i'll first of all delete this database okay so i'll go and then delete it here so choose existing close existing connections i'll click on ok now my backup, I don't have the wide world importance. Now to restore it, what we need to do is to right click on databases and then select restore database. Now you have your database here. So you are restoring a database. So from where the device you select, then you click on these three dot add and then you select the folder where your backup is. so this way my backup is so i'll select this folder and then i have my backups here so i'm restoring 
wide world importers i'll click on it click on ok ok here and then i have it here so here you have files these are the files and file groups so you have them here you can also click options here you can restore that's restore options override restore with recovery or with no recovery you can select which one you want so here i'll just click on ok to restore my database so you can see the progress bar here let's wait for a few seconds so database wide world importers restored successfully so click on ok now you can see our database is back so if this video was helpful make sure you subscribe and share like for more videos see you in the next one bye bye